So I've built this 2.1 system. In this video I'll explain el electronics I've put inside. And there are two other videos on my channel where I build the subwoofer and the satellites. The core of the system is this small computer. It's Raspberry Pi 0W. It will act as a Bluetooth receiver, Wi-Fi receiver, or as a crossover and I might do room correction with it. It is cheap, small, has low energy consumption and doesn't produce much heat, which is important for me because I don't have a plan to turn it off ever. The computer is hooked up to a multi-channel sound card, which sends its output to three ice power stereo amps. This way I don't need any crossovers, only a couple of capacitors to protect the tweeters. Also, these digital crossovers can do way, way more stuff than any analog ones. You can correct phase, you can add delay, you can get crazy steep filter response, etc. Also, I've hooked up a thermometer to measure inside air temperature. There are also temperature sensors on the amps. You can read current and temperature measurements from the amplifier. Everything runs real cold, despite it being a sealed box. So there really was no need to add this aluminum panel for cooling. Now it's time to talk about the interface. I did not add any volume knobs, switches, buttons, lights. In my opinion, that stuff is annoying and useless. Biggest downside of this approach is that you'll have to spend a lot of time setting everything up. Also, it's a whole computer with its operating system, so it takes a long time to start up. On the other hand, you can set up DLNA, Spotify and a lot of different other stuff. You can even turn it into a smart speaker that doesn't spy on you. Setting up Bluetooth and AirPlay was a breeze. Really, you just need to find a good instruction on the internet and copy-paste stuff into your Bash console. You don't need to know Linux or something like that for, for it. Just remember these two tips. Write sudo before comment if something doesn't work. And if the instruction says to use a text editor, don't use VI, use Nano. The part with room correction and crossovers, however, is more complicated. Because there's no good instruction on the internet, you need to search answers on different message boards and understand everything. And then I've assembled and tested everything outside and stuffed it inside subwoofer after. It's a really easy and straightforward part, just as easy as setting up regular amplifier in the box.